Sometimes you guys have stayed with it in the fourth, throughout the first four quarters when they tried it many times to try and kind of pull away, but you guys have stayed with it, stayed with it. How, how? Uh, yeah, we had a great fourth quarter uh, comeback. Uh, you know, we always believe in ourselves, and uh, we did it against Minnesota, and we came back. So that, uh, that comeback in the fall was uh, was great. Uh, you know, but we we got finished. How do you feel you took those two falls in in regulation on your back? How do you does your back feel, and how do you feel having played forty eight minutes? Uh, I might I might need a yeah. Rest. I'm almost <laughs> off the, nah, it's, it's fine. I mean, I just need trimming. Uh, you know, it's a little tight, uh, but I'll be fine. Uh, yeah, uh, that's, uh, that's my schedule. That's the way it's always. And uh, I'm going to go home, get some trimming all night, and uh, come back the next night and feel well. You mentioned about finishing, especially in the overtime when you had a little bit of a lead in that first one. How tough was that when they were able to kind of come back at you in the late in that one? Uh, man, we uh, I just, so many things happened. I don't even remember why what happened in our first overtime. But you know, I had a couple chances of uh, uh, finishing the game or the last shot, but I didn't execute. And uh, you know, uh, I gotta I gotta start finding a way to like, actually score instead of like trying to get fouled. Because in those situations, referees they know every, even if it's a foul, they don't ever call anything. So uh, I think that's what I learned the most about myself tonight. Just. Uh, in those type of situations, the last uh, last shot, just go at it and uh, at least uh, get a shot up instead of uh, trying to get fouled. Joe, well, you and Ben were able to connect a couple of times tonight. Where would you say your chemistry with him is at at this point in the year? Uh, this is we do. I, I thought we, I think we've been doing great, uh, getting better uh, game by game. Uh, you know, starting to like, understand how to play with each other, especially when I'm posting up. And uh, when he's at the low zone, uh, you know, I've been able to find him and then vice versa. I found me a couple of times tonight. So we're getting, we getting better. We still got a lot of work to do, um, but he's going to get there. Joe, can what, you tell us what happened in, from your perspective on that play when there was 1.2 left and you guys thought you had the half court, but you had to go full? Uh, I don't know. I just, I, I remember uh, Dario grabbed the rebound and uh, I called the town bound and I didn't see any dribbles. I don't think he dribbled the ball. So I, as soon as I saw him grab the uh, rebound, I called the timeout. So I guess we should uh, advance the ball in that situation. I guess that's a rule, but uh, I don't know. That you got to ask that to the referees. Uh, but I thought they did a great job, you know, uh, calling it both ways. But uh, on that play, uh, especially, uh, I, I don't know what happened. You got to ask that to them. How much did that kind of shake you guys up, not being able to go with the play that you thought you were going to? Oh yeah, we we were uh, we were caught off guard. Uh, the play that coach had drawn up uh, was a play basically on the other end, and instead we got the ball close to our basket, and uh, um, I, I don't think we got a shot off. Uh, but you know that kind of like uh, messed up in our minds. But that that's not the excuse. We shouldn't have any excuse for losing that game. Joel, what did you have to say to Westbrook after the game after he was waving at you? He told me to go home, man. I mean, this is my home, so I guess it's on him to go home. Uh, you know, uh, they won the game. I give him a lot of credit. They did a lot of things, but uh, I mean, the dude shot like 10 for 33. I wish I, I would have shot 33 times, and uh, I guess we would have would've had a better chance of uh, actually winning the game. But, you know, he told me to go home, man. This is my home, man. I ain't going nowhere. How much does that drive you when you're going up against Russ like that and Melo exchanging words? How much does that drive you as a competitor? Uh, you know, what? when I'm on the court, I want to be the best player on the court. And those guys, obviously, they're, they're great. Um, but I always feel like when I'm on the court, uh, like, I don't know, there's 30 players uh, on the court. So I, I feel like I'm always the best. And playing against those guys, they're great. Uh, they're really good. I mean, in the, they've been in the league for a long time. I'm still trying to create an identity, and uh, I think I've been doing a great job of it. But I feel, I feel like you know, uh, it's about. I don't really worry about them. It's about my team, uh, making sure we get the win and we play together. And I think we've been doing a great job of it. Joel, you had a chance to hit an and one, and Melo said something to you. What just going off with Russell said? What did Melo say to you? Uh, Man, he just said, uh, he just said something like, uh, uh, don't do this with me, uh, or something like that. I'm like, dude, like, you're not going to do anything. Uh, 
you follow me out there and one on you. So I just, I must worry about going to the free throw line and making my foul shot, which I actually missed and I was pissed about it. Uh, but, you know, guys in the league, I mean, I, I can't remember the last time someone actually took a punch or somebody. So I'm not worried about anybody. And, uh, you know, I've seen that a, a lot all over the place about people talking about, like, um, people like come back at me. Um, I'm African, so don't try me. <laughs> Joe, is, it, Joe, is it one of those things where just people just gotta deal with it? I mean, this is your personality. This is who you are. I'm having you wanna, fun. You're yeah, having fun. I'm having fun. Uh, you know what's the, what goes on the court stays on the court. You know, I don't. I don't think. I don't think I ever disrespect anybody. I don't think I ever uh, say any f word to somebody or on social media, you know, and uh, when I'm on social media, I'm just having fun and uh, I don't, I don't ever, I don't think I ever take shots at anybody, I'm just having fun and if you think it's about you and you want to make it personal, that's on you, but you know, me, uh, I just want to have fun, that's my personality, I just want to be, I just want to show the world uh, that uh, that's me and uh, yeah. Joe, when, when somebody says to you, go home, and you're on your home court already, how much pride do you take in the fact that this is your turf? Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, all I had to tell them, uh, you know, in that case, there's really nothing you can do. They just won the game. Uh, it would be different if he actually told me that if I, I won the game. But, uh, you know, all I had to tell him was that, see you in OKC. And uh, when we go to OKC, um, and go and do everything to get a win, and uh, it'd be time to go home, too.